Well, could the pandemic be what saves Chamonix Golf Course? Maybe, as Rusty Ray reports, Anoka County leaders nearly voted to shut it down, but now say more golfers and better operations have the future looking green. A couple of years ago, the mood inside this Anoka County Parks and Recreation Committee meeting was a bit tense. The committee listened to pleas from golfers about the future of Chamonix Golf Course in Lino Lakes. The county-owned course had fallen on hard times. Anoka County was considering uh, potentially to, to repurpose the golf course because um, it was operating in the red for several consecutive years. The county instead voted to give the course an evaluation period, during which time it made improvements and hired new staff, and then the unexpected happened. We're in a very good place. Uh, last year was a record year in terms of revenue, so we're actually operated in the black last year and uh, during the pandemic, which was totally a silver lining of the pandemic. Uh, because we were the only game in town, right? Parks and golf courses was about the only thing people could do. And uh, so we had a great year. Now the course is back open nearly three weeks earlier than last year. It's such a great course. It, it's, it, you know, it's tucked in such a natural area. It gives you that up north uh, type experience. We have, um, you know, it's a premier 18 hole golf course in the North Metro area. and. During your golf experience, I mean, you can see um, trumpeter swans, you can see sandhill cranes. I mean, it's such a, a naturalized experience if, if that's what you're looking for. And it may be just the boost the course and its fans were looking for. The community has embraced it, uh, in particular the past couple of years. And um, yeah, we're looking forward to a, a very positive, successful year at Chamonix. Reporting for North Metro TV News, I'm Rusty Ray. For the year 2020, greens fees, golf cart rentals, and driving range fees were all way over what was forecasted. However, merchandise, food, drink, and facility rentals were all obviously way under the mark.